What's going on guys? So today I'm gonna do a quick review on our residential snow setup. Uh, a few people were asking. It's pretty much the same setup we've had for a few years now. But uh, we'll go over to kind of what we do here. So uh, we take the 2500 out, truck number two, no plow, uh, four by four obviously. And this is our old, very old, Christ, 2011 mowing trailer. Um, you just, you know, you save everything. You know, if you don't need to sell it, don't sell it. Don't get rid of it. You know, that's, that's, that's our current mowing trailer there now. But this is, this is the commercial in the summer, uh, two days a week. And then besides that, we use it for snow all winter. So we kind of deck it out for snow removal. Uh, single axle. I completely forget the size of this. It's not big at all, obviously. But it's great for a few snow blowers, you know? Um, kind of gonna go kind of what we have in here so backpack blower mix regular gas and then we have two Toros and Arians in there um, really one is a commercial and the other one is a residential model and that Arians is like the high-end residential but this is what we've used for uh, I'd say at least, like I said, since since maybe 2015, you know, we don't get a lot of snow where we're at. Uh, we have some gear up here, and again, odds and tools down there, but obviously not skid floors on here. But like I said, the racks here are for in the summer, like I said, residential. But we got the hooks with the shovels, you know. it's Nothing, nothing fancy. You know, you don't need, I mean, you can even throw one of these in the, in the back of a pickup truck, you know, but that's kind of really what we do. And then I always have a backpack blower too, just in case. Having the backpack blower is always good for, for porches and stuff like that. But come over back here. So in the cap we have the cap of the pickup is where we keep the salt but like I said this this isn't anything fancy at all uh, I'm gonna open the back here uh, we do maybe close to a hundred a hundred residentials but really it's all single driveways and walkways you know you don't you don't need anything fancy for a lot of that kind of stuff but this is this is what we have this is what we use like i said nothing nothing fancy it's all besides this guy this is the commercial toro that that arians like i said is a high-end residential model and this toro is an older power clear i mean these are the older toros too like i said we've had them since 2013 so they're pretty old shovels on the hooks as stated but that's it, side door, that's our salt bucket. Salt goes in the truck like I was showing you. Uh, backpack blower, that's it. You know, it's kind of our setup. And this is strictly, this, this, this setup here would be strictly just for the residentials with the single, the single drives. Now the F-350 has the plow, but this, this is really just residential. You know, there's nothing, nothing really to it. This is just a setup video. Like I said, I just was kind of showing you guys what we use, but you can't go wrong with this stuff. We use Stable all winter long to keep everything running properly. And I mean, Stable throughout the year, I guess you'd say, just to keep everything running. But besides that, you know, we personally, like I said, we don't get a lot of snow where we're at. So you don't want it to really spend like I said an arm and a leg on certain things like that just because you don't know you know you don't know if, if you're gonna make your money back that year the next year you know you don't know like last year we had one snow event before that we had none this year we've had one um, you know you, you you get one small snow event a year you won't even pay off really some of this stuff so that's why we keep it very simple uh, we're like mid northeast area, so I just it's like I said, it's 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 really hit or miss where we're at, but that's really it, guys. I didn't, you know, this this can't really be a too long video because 
like I said, it's just three snow blowers and a bunch of shovels. You know, you, and I believe that one's like a two stage snow blower or three stage. And this is a, I think that's a single stage. That's a single stage, and that's a two stage or three. No idea. But anyway, they're great. We've used these for big storms. We've used everything for little storms. That's our setup. Like I said, if if you're in an area where there's not a lot of snow, don't go crazy buying all this kind of stuff your first year because you may not make your money back. You might, you might, you know, you don't know how the winters are gonna be. You have no idea. But that's why we, we kept this, like I said, in the summer, there's two mowers in here and some mowing stuff and they do commercial two days a week with this while the other guys have the residential mowing and then right when winter comes we switch this right over to snow so it's always ready just in case you obviously you keep everything filled up you have your salt ready but we don't you know we don't do too 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 much with with the snow around here just because of how things have been since we've started now you never know how the winters go things could change so that's that's our setup guys again I, I have no idea what size this i completely forget i want to say a six by something maybe i could be wrong there too i completely forget but that's our first mowing trailer we ever got and everything was fine with it it's a wells cargo nothing ever went wrong obviously you got to do maintenance i don't know if you can really see but underneath here you probably can't see it all but i do a lot of that uh that rust oleum spray stuff just because the winters that we've had this thing out there's salt on the roads you know you got to keep up with that kind of stuff by hosing everything down after a storm and you know in the summer we just undercoat everything and just spray everything the gate has the non-skid there so you're not slipping and falling uh and like i said the 2500 pulls it we keep bags of salt back there. God, this time of year, there's only maybe 10 or 12. Again, this is residential only. Our F-350 over there has the plow, but we haven't even used that this year. So that's that, guys. Again, can't really make this a long, detailed video. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll help you out the best that I can with, you know, like residential. But at the most, like I said, this, this stuff really we'll just do you know, single single driveways maybe a small double driveway uh walkways nothing you know we don't we're not doing like like some places we're not doing like a mile long driveway with snow blowers that's not what we're doing these are very small properties around here and we sign everyone up you know in in late fall just just to be ready you know it, just because you have so you have your schedule together in your list but again residential we don't do too much if you have any questions let me know i'll try to help you out or if you wanted to see anything else i can always post some pictures or videos but stay simple again this one is residential and we've this machine alone has made a great amount of money and it still runs that one's residential has made a great amount of money over the years when we did get snow and then after our first few storms of making our money back then we bought a commercial one. But by the way, these Toros are amazing. Uh, I should post a video on those Toros because I have changed, you know, the, the paddles on there and the plug. These these two machines are great. This Arians, it's it's a little rough to start up, but it goes when it, you know, it starts right up. And then these are the shovels. Again, guys, um, quick video. We don't do too much snow really where I'm at or how you know how long we've been in business for. Maybe things will change in the future. Who knows? But that's our residential setup. I hope this helps. Keep it simple, guys, when you're starting out with snow, especially residential. Just a few snow blowers and shovels. You'll be good. All right, guys. See ya.